In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Glory to you, Lord, glory to you. O heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, you are everywhere present, and you fill all things. You are the treasurer of all blessing and the giver of life. Come and abide with us. Cleanse us from every stain of sin and save our souls, O gracious Lord. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive us of our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities and our weaknesses for your name's sake. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. And the spirit and the bride say, come, and let him that is here say, come, and let him that is a thirst come, and whosoever will, let him drink of the water of life freely. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. Arising from sleep, we fall down before you, O good one, and we sing the angelic hymn. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God Almighty. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Now that you have raised me up from my bed of sleep, O Lord, enlighten my heart and my mind, and open my lips that I may show forth your praise. For you are blessed to all generations, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, have mercy on us, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Suddenly shall the judge come, and the deeds and actions of everyone will be made known. Therefore, in fear, we cry out at midnight, Holy, holy, holy are you. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Senor ten piedad, Senor ten piedad, Senor ten piedad. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Arising from sleep, I thank you, O Holy Trinity, for in your great goodness and love you haven't been angry with me. Nor have you destroyed me in my transgressions, but in your great love you have raised me up, that I may sing the glories of your majesty. Enlighten the eyes of my understanding and open my heart to receive your word. Teach me your commandments and show me the way that I should walk, and let me confess you from my heart, singing and praising your all holy name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O eternal and creator of all things, in your great goodness you've called me to this life and you've bestowed on me the grace of baptism and the seal of the Holy Spirit. And you've given me the desire to seek you. And this is what I desire. I have no life, no light, and no joy, no strength except in you. And because of my unrighteousness, Lord, I don't even want to lift my eyes up to you. But you said in your word that whosoever shall ask... Whatsoever you shall ask in prayer, believing you shall receive. And what things soever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that I will do. Therefore, I will call upon the Lord. And Lord, here is my prayer. Lord, purify me from every taint of the flesh and spirit and teach me to pray correctly. Bless this day which you give me, your servant. And by the power of this blessing, this day, Enable me at all times to speak and act to your glory with a pure spirit, Lord, with humility, patience, love, gentleness, peace, courage, wisdom, always aware of your presence. Lord, of your great goodness, show me the path of your will and grant me to walk in your sight without men. Grant me favor with all who come in contact with me and let that blessing go before me and let your glory be my rear guard. Station your angels around me this day and guide and guard me by them. Lead me in the paths of righteousness. 
And Lord, by that blessing, let me be full of grace and full of the Holy Spirit to provide answers and love and be your hand extended that I may be the light of the world, the salt of the earth this day. Lord, all hearts are open to you and you know exactly what I need. You are acquainted with my frailty, my weakness, my blindness, and my ignorance, but you're also aware of my anguish and my suffering and my confusion and my frustrations, God. And Lord, this is what I ask of you. And I pray that you will hear this prayer today. Lord, that you will allow me by your Holy Spirit to teach me to walk in the way that I should walk. Lord, if my, if my will decides to go another way, arrest me, stop me by the power of your love. Stop me by the power of your love and draw me and push me and lead me back into the ways of righteousness, Lord. Lord, it is my sole desire that I serve you with all of my heart, my soul, my mind, my strength, every fiber of my being from the top of my head to the soles of my feet to the tips of my toe. Lord, I pray that you will preserve me from every word and every deed that corrupts the soul and from every impulse that's unpleasing to you and hurtful to my fellow man. Lord, teach me what to say and how to say it. And if it be your will that I make no answer, Lord, let me keep silent in a spirit of peace that causes neither harm nor hurt to my fellow man. Establish me in the ways of your commandments and to my last breath, let me not stray from the light of your ordinances. And let your commandments be my sole law upon this earth and throughout all eternity. Lord, I pray that you have mercy on me. Spare me in my affliction and in my misery and hide not the way of salvation for me. Lord, I've asked you for many and great things through my life, but this is the one thing I desire now, that you would grant to me the worst of sinners to love you as you commanded with all of my heart, with all of my soul, with all of my mind, and with all of my being. Lord, by your Holy Spirit, teach me good judgment and knowledge. Fill me full of the knowledge of your will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding. And grant me to know your truth before I go down to the grave. Maintain my life in this world that I may offer you worthy change and repentance. Take me not away in the midst of my days, nor while my mind is still blind. And we shall, when you shall be pleased to bring my life to an end, forewarn me that I may prepare my soul to meet you. Cleanse me from my secret faults, from all iniquity that is hidden in me, and give me a right answer before your judgment seat. Be with me, Lord, at that dread hour, and grant unto me the joy of your salvation. Amen, amen, amen. Lord, how many are my foes? Many are saying of me, there is no help for him in God. But you, Lord, are a shield about me, my glory and the lifter of my head. I cry aloud to the Lord and he answers me from his holy hill. I lie down and sleep and I wake again for the Lord sustains me. I am not afraid of 10,000s of people who have risen against me. Lord, arise, O Lord, deliver me, O my God. You strike all of my enemies on the cheek. You break the teeth of the wicked. Deliverance belongs to the Lord, and his blessing be upon your people. O Lord, grant that I may greet this coming day in your peace, and help me to rely on your holy will at every moment. In every hour of the day, reveal your will to me, Lord, and bless my time with all who surround me. Teach me to treat that whatever may happen to me with a firm conviction that your will governs all. And no matter what happens on Facebook, Lord, no matter what happens in the elections, no matter what people say, no matter what people do, let me live this day with the peace of soul. Lord, the peace that passes all understanding. And all my deeds and words guide my thoughts and feelings and unforeseen events. Let me not forget that all are sent by you and teach me to pray and act wisely without embittering or embarrassing anyone. Give me the strength to bear the fatigue of this coming day and all that it will bring. Direct my will. Teach me to pray and pray yourself in me. O Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of your eternal mercy and loving kindness became man. You suffered crucifixion and death for the salvation of all. You rose from the dead and ascended into heaven and sit at the right hand of the Father. Where you hear our prayer, Lord, we call upon you humbly and with our whole heart. Incline your ear to us this day. 
which your servants offer as a spiritual sacrifice for all your people. Lord, first of all, remember your holy Catholic and apostolic church, which you have purchased with your precious blood. Strengthen it, multiply it, and keep it in peace, and do not allow the gates of hell to prevail against it. Prevent schisms among the churches and pacify the ragings of the pagans, and quickly destroy the uprisings of heresies by the power of your Holy Spirit. Have mercy, O Lord, upon the president, the congress, the judiciary, the governors, and those who make and administer our laws, the municipal authorities, and those who protect us and serve us, and those who serve in our armed forces and save them all. Give them peace and continual victory over unrighteousness and over evil in all places. May they provide peace so that your holy church and all your people may live calm and ordered lives in godliness and in honesty with godly deeds. Have mercy, O Lord, upon the popes and patriarchs, metropolitans, archbishops and bishops and priests and deacons, and the whole order of your clergy, the apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors and teachers. Save them whom you have established to feed your flock and by their prayers have mercy on us sinners and save us. Lord, have mercy on our spiritual fathers and mothers and save them and by their holy prayers forgive us our transgressions. Have mercy, O Lord, on our parents and save them together with our brothers and sisters our kinfolk after the flesh, and our friends, and grant them your eternal blessing, both here and in the age to come. Have mercy, O Lord, on the old and the young, the needy, the orphans and the widows, and all who are in sickness and sorrow, in distress and affliction, oppression and captivity, in prison and in confinement. Save them together with your servants who are under persecution for your sake and for the sake of the faith. Remember them and visit them, strengthen and comfort them, and by the power that Grant them speedily relief, freedom, and deliverance. Have mercy, O Lord, on all who travel and save them, those who are sent on duty, and our brothers and sisters and all Christians. Have mercy, O Lord, on our enemies. Save all who envy us, who wish us evil, or deal unjustly with us. May they not perish because of us sinners. And I enlighten, O Lord, with the truth of your holy wisdom, all who have gone astray from the faith, led by destructive heresies and divergent philosophies, and unite them once again to your holy Catholic and apostolic church. Remember, O Lord, those who have departed this life, all popes and patriarchs, metropolitans, archbishops, and all who serve in your priesthood, the ministry of your church, the monastic order, the apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers, and grant them rest with your saints in your eternal kingdom. Remember, O Lord, the souls of your servants now fallen asleep, our parents, family, and friends. Forgive them all of their sins committed in ignorance or in, or in knowledge. Grant them your kingdom. Grant them your kingdom, a portion of your eternal blessing, and the enjoyment of unending life. Remember, O Lord, all who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection to eternal life, our brothers and sisters, all Christians throughout the world. Place them with your saints before the light of your countenance and have mercy on us, for you are a good God and you love mankind. Heavenly Father, we humbly pray and ask that you would send your Holy Spirit to touch the hearts of the people of Lakeland, Florida. We ask you to encourage them to seek the living truth, your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, and his Holy Church. We pray that their hearts may be turned from the temptations of this world and from the words of heretical teachers. We pray for ourselves also, Lord, that we would not be hardened to the gospel, but that we, we, that we would be living lights and representatives of our Savior. We pray for our churches, Lord, that they may be true havens of rest, <clears throat> encouragement and hope for all who call them home. And we pray that all who call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in Lakeland, in Florida, in the United States, and around the world may be one, even as you and your Son and the Holy Spirit are one. Amen. It is truly meet to bless you, O Theotokos, ever blessed and most pure and mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim and more glorious and beyond compare than the seraphim. In virginity you gave birth to God the Word. True Theotokos, we magnify you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Through the prayers of our holy fathers and mothers, brothers and sisters, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us this day. Amen, amen, amen. I want to thank you today for joining us for Saturday morning prayers. And I want to wish, your, I want to wish the blessing of the Lord and pray the blessing of the Lord upon you this day. May our great God, who sent his only son into this world to save us sinners, not to condemn us, but to give us life. 
and by the power of that blessing and by the power of his holy cross, bless you this day in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Be blessed today and go in the name of the Lord. Amen. Thanks for joining us this morning. We will catch you next time.